Hey guys, Mike from Magnanimous here, and today we're talking about macro lenses. I've had a lot of people asking recently about the kind of various options that we have, so I wanted to highlight a few different options that you can use to accomplish macro shots of a few different varieties. First off, we're taking a look at the classic Canon 100mm macro. This lens has been used for years by weddings and documentary shooters and people needing a macro lens that's a little bit more versatile. It features autofocus as well as optical image stabilization so that as you're trying to capture really close up detail shots handheld, it'll help work out some of the bumps and bruises. The 100 millimeter focal length is actually really versatile because it can hit a very, very close macro focus, but also all the way to infinity focus. So you can use it for a variety of shots. I've got a few miniatures set up here so you can take a look and see what the shot looks like with this. And it's really great that you can use autofocus to just tap where you want and it can really pull those details into crisp focus. And yeah, it's an awesome lens that has you know probably the quickest and easiest way to get shooting macro. Moving on, we have a lens that you've probably seen floating around online a lot. This is the Loa 24mm probe lens. This lens is unique in that it features a long probe barrel design that is waterproof for the first 20 centimeters, meaning you can take it and put the lens places no other lens can go, be it underwater, underground, or inside a product for close-up detail shots. And you'll notice it's very unique in that it has a wide 24 millimeter field of view. So if we take a look at our minis here, you'll notice not only are they in frame, you also get a lot uh, in the back as well. You do get this wide 20 millimeter field of view. Unfortunately, the lens is an F14, so it is hungry for a lot of light. So we're a little dark here. Here. but it comes equipped with an integrated LED ring light in the front that can be used to help get a good proper exposure. And so you'll notice we have this really unique wide macro look that it's really hard to get with any other macro lens. Moving on, we've got our first in our cinema options. This is the Zeiss 50mm macro. It's in the Zeiss CP2 family of lenses, so it's got Zeiss's really sharp, contrasty coatings on there. It's available in EF or PL, so you can adapt it to you know, whatever camera you plan to shoot with. And I really like the 50 millimeter field of view for this. It gives you a good variety where you can get up close, and I think it's close focus is just a couple inches from the front of the lens. But you can also get a nice wider field of view as well if you want to try and get a full shot of uh, your subject. And you can kind of look at our minis there and you'll notice right away they are much crisper and sharper than the other two lenses. And that's the, you know, the cinema level of quality that you can expect with the lenses really, really shines on those macro details. Moving up, we've got kind of the biggest setup you could do and I love this setup for macro because it gives you a ton of versatility. It uses the Zeiss 70 to 200 which is a phenomenal cinema zoom lens all on its own but unfortunately on its own you'll actually notice if you look at the minis there they're not in focus. It has a five foot minimum focus distance so we're going to take these Leica Macrolux diopters here. These are focus distance reducers and I'm going to attach them to the front of the lens and create a macro lens with it. So you'll watch as I pop these right on front and those miniatures come right into focus as I've cut that distance down so much. And it's really unique because you get all of the versatility of a cinema zoom, so I can zoom and set my field of view to whatever I need, but you get the sharpness that you expect from a Zeiss cinema lens. So you get this really amazing, versatile, close-up macro lens that's really hard to match with any other lens that we have in our inventory. Really one of my favorites, although it is a bigger setup and will require a bit more support in order to use it. And those are kind of four different levels of macro that you could do, kind of ranging in budget, um, but all with their own strengths and weaknesses, able to capture a lot of different close-up macro shots. If you guys are interested in checking any of these lenses out or getting started shooting macro on your production, give us a call or visit magrents.com.